Time now for local weather. Everybody beware, you better prepare. The sounds that can happen anytime, anywhere. Everybody beware, you better prepare. The sounds that can happen anytime, anywhere. Good day, I am Michelle Rodriguez, Public Relations Officer at NEMA. The National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, along with the Sinkit and the Nevis Met Office, has been monitoring two tropical disturbances, Invest 94L and Invest 93L in the Atlantic, which are approaching the Caribbean islands. In the studio with me is Senior Meteorological Officer, Mr. Elmo Burke, to tell us more on this development. Mr. Burke, welcome. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Michelle. I think Smith Services is closely monitoring two approaching disturbances, as you had indicated. We have Invest 94, which is the closest w closer one to the island chain, and Invest 93L. Uh, Invest 94L is showing a high probability that it will develop into at least some kind of tropical cyclone as it approaches or over the island chain sometime later today or tonight or into tomorrow. And as such, the islands are asked to closely monitor the progress of Invest 94 because that is the main threat at the moment. Um, as of 8 o'clock this morning, it was generally located at about um, 150 miles to the east of Barbados, and that's a broad area. Um, conditions, are, as I said, are conducive for additional strengthening of the system and is expected to develop into a tropical depression later today or tonight. The low is moving in a west northwesterly direction at about 10 to 15 miles per hour and bringing it closer to the island chain as we progress into the day. For us here in St. Kitts and Nevis, we can anticipate some heavy showers accompanied with occasional thunderstorms overnight into early tomorrow morning. Windy conditions along with some of these windy conditions, the winds are going to be gusting to near um, storm force conditions. Seas will likely to begin to deteriorate as we move into the night, especially as we move into the early morning part of tomorrow. As such, watches and warnings are likely to be initiated later today with very little time in terms of lead time. Um, we are asking the general public to closely monitor the situation in the event if we have to initiate any watches or warning. At this moment, there isn't any watch or warning in place for us here in St. Kitts and Nevis. However, in the event that we have to issue any watch or warning, we are asking the general public to keep in tune um, to the St. Kismet Service as well as NEMA for updates. Um, also, because we anticipated quite a bit of shower activity overnight, there is a potential for flash flooding, especially overnight into the early morning. As such, we would advise the general public to avoid parking in the guts because these areas are known waterways. We recognize that um, earlier this weekend, we would have had the passing of a tropical wave which would have generated significant rainfall activity in the hills and as such the soils are already saturated. So if we do get this heavy showers um, because we anticipated up to an inch and a half of rainfall, if this do materialize there is a potential for flash flooding. So again we are going to ask the general public to avoid parking in the guts especially overnight into tomorrow morning. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Burke, for joining us. And I would like to take this opportunity to remind residents to ensure that they make the necessary arrangements and preparations as we closely monitor these developments. I am Misha Rodriguez, Public Relations Officer at NEMA. Thank you for joining us. Everybody beware, you better prepare. The 